What's up guys, welcome back once again to the reviews. Today it was a big day for me. I'm finally getting to install my brand new graphics card, which is the Red Devil RTX, not RTX, Red Devil RX 7900 XTX from PowerColor. Um, I've had this for a while now, I've not managed to get it installed. Um, so today I'm gonna to install it and then we're gonna do some reviews and show you how well it performs. So there we have what the uh, 7900 XTX Red Devil looks like and we also have the benchmarks I've shown you there to see how it performs and obviously as you can see it performs absolutely incredible. Uh, frame rates are pretty much through the roof uh, throughout. Um, it can definitely do up to 4K. Um, obviously I've not got a 4K monitor, um, I'm using an ultra wide which is very close to 4K but not quite. Um, so it gives you sort of an idea how it perform and obviously I've shown you 1440p and 1080p results. Um, so you can see for yourself how just how well this performs. Obviously things like Doom Eternal and stuff like that, the frame rates are absolutely massive because that runs just amazing on pretty much anything. Um, but all, all over, over than that, it, it just runs, it runs great. Um, absolutely fantastic. Um, I can't fault it at all in terms of the performance of it. I'm really, really happy with it. And also, obviously, I've shown you a bit of B-roll so you can see what it looks like as well. Um, personally, I think it's one of the best graphics cards out there in terms of looks. Um, I absolutely really, really like this. Um, obviously, you can do RGB. Uh, I've got it set to all red because that's sort of the theme in my uh, build, uh, which isn't finished yet, but I will be doing a video on the basically my finished build once I've got it sorted. Um, so let's just talk a little bit about noise. Um, it is very, very loud when it's at full tilt, um, but that's expected from most graphics cards really when these fans ramp up to such high RPM and um, they do get very, very loud. Um, so that's to, to be expected. And also there is a little bit of core wine or quite a bit of core wine actually when it's uh, running at high FPS. And, and that's it guys really um, as you can see like i say there's a bit there's quite a lot of noise from the fans when it's running at full tilt when it's sort of idle and not doing a lot or when it's just sitting there um and basically it's not getting too too warm and it's not too bad at all obviously it depends on your sort of fan curve that you use on this um, i'm using quite an aggressive one so mine gets quite like quite quickly um however in normal use uh, without it obviously being really pushed then um the fans are actually quite quiet on it um and Obviously, the, the, the only downside of it is the coil wine. Um, again, it's, it depends whether you, that's something that bothers you. Personally, I'm not bothered. I'm, I'm, when I'm gaming, I've got my headset on anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I can't hear it. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, absolutely great GPU. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it uh, gives you some insight into this GPU, whether you want it or not. Um, I will say definitely get the anti-sag bracket installed on this because it is massive and does sag quite a lot without that. Um, so definitely use that if you can. Um, but yeah, absolutely great GPU, absolutely really impressed with it, I'm really happy I bought it. Um, so that's it guys. Uh, thank you for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed this video like I said. Uh, if you did, please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if you didn't like it, then uh, dislike it and leave me any comments in the comment section below if you have anything to say about this or if you have any insights into this graphics card yourself or want to let me know uh, and I'll be happy to hear from you. Uh, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Thanks, goodbye.